In this video we're going to look at percent problems. We'll do five pages. Here's page one. What number is a percentage of something? And then at the end of per page two we start with what percent of six is three and uh, what percent of something is something. And then by page four we're looking at 30 is 50% of what number, 22 is 25% of what number, and so on. And then we'll look at uh, this and then end up with what is 5.4% of that. Okay. Okay. So let's start with page one. What number is 50% of six? Write down the answer, first of all. Okay, now we have to get what number is 44% of 38, so of course we'll need a little bit of uh, a strategy. But uh, can you tell me the answer to this? 50% is the same thing as one half, right? Isn't it? Remember that? So what number is half of 6? The answer is 3, right? Now, the way we were going to do this is we're going to say, okay, we want to get 50% of 6. Now, of, you might remember, means multiply. Okay? 50% can be turned into a decimal. What's 50% as a decimal? You can move the decimal point one, two spaces to the left and get point five zero, or 0 0.50. Or 0.50. So 0 0.50 of 50% of 6 is 0 0.50 times 6 so you can just multiply these numbers okay 0 0.5 times 6 6 fives is 30 carry to 3 6 zeros is 3 3 and one decimal point in the problem so 3.0 so 0 0.5 times 6 gives 3.0 or 3 right so that's the strategy is turn the percentage into a decimal and multiply. So what number is 44% of 38? You know, the first thing you got to do is, is, is breathe for a second and think, what am I doing? What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get 44% of 38. I know that of means multiply, okay? Because I want to get 44. 44% can be turned into a decimal. Turn 44% into a decimal. So of is multiply, 44% as a decimal. I can move the decimal point one, two spaces to the right, giving me 0.44, or 0 0.44, you know, multiplied by 38, right? So if I go 0 0.44 times 38, I'll get the answer. So you've got to multiply um, these numbers. 8 times 4, 32, carry to 3. 8 times 4, 32, and 3 is 35, carry to 3. 8 times 0 is 0, and 3 is 3. Put down 0, multiply by 3. 3 fourths is 12, carry the 1. 3 fourths is 12, and 1 is 13. Add these. 2, 7, 6, 1. And there are Um, one, two decimal places in the problem, so there's going to be one, two decimal places in the answer. So 16.72 is the answer. 16.72. Okay. So on to page uh, two. What number is 7.5% of 2,230? So, you, once again, you, and we can think about this as, say, Social Security tax on a monthly wage of $2,230, right? So what would the Social Security tax for the month be for this? So, first of all, turn this percentage into a decimal. And what do you get? Well, the decimal point can be moved one, two spaces to the left, like that, to get point zero, right? So that's going to give me point zero seven 
0.75 or 0 0.075. Of is multiply, so multiply by, multiply by this number, right? 2, 2, 3, 0. So it's this times this, and then you just calculate that. So 2, 2, 3, 0. 0 0.075 multiply them so 5 zeros is 0, 5 threes is 5, carry the 1 5 twos is 10 and 1 is 11, carry the 1, 5 twos is 10, 1 is 11 put down 0 placeholder and multiply by 7, 7 times 0 is 0 7 times 3, 21, carry the 2 7 times 2 is 14, 14 and 2 is 16, carry the 1, 7 times 2 is 14, 14 and 1 is 15, and now add, and I've got 0, 5, 2, 7, 6, 1, and I have 1, 2, three decimal places in the problem. So there's going to be one, two, three decimal places in the answer. So that is 167.25. So Social Security tax of 7.5% on this monthly wage is a dollar or $167.25. Okay. What per Okay, so so that's the answer there. Now, this is a different type of question. What percent of 6 is 3? Can you do that one? What percent of 6 is 3? Just write down the answer. What percent of 6 is 3? <coughs> hmm. And um, well, the answer is 3 is 50%, is half of 6. Okay, because 3 is 50% of 6, it's half, right? Um, and I guess one way of figuring this out, and you can decide whether you want to do it this way or not, but what percent is what we don't know? We'll call that P, right? P is the percentage we do not know. Of means multiply times what percent times 6 is. Is can be represented with an equal sign. Is 3. So what percentage of 6 is 3. Isn't that weird that you can turn that English sentence into an equation? And now we can find P and P, you see, because it's P multiplied by 6 equals 3, or you could write that as 6 uh, times P equals 3, whatever, it doesn't matter. But the point is you've got to divide by 6 on both sides. We, we did this before, didn't we? and we get P equals 3 over 6 you see that's the percentage and now you just turn this fraction into a percent and you have the answer because the answer is 3 over 6 um, and in lowest terms what's that? 1 over 2 right? and then turn that into a percentage well you've got to divide 2 into 1, 2 into 1 goes 0 times, but 2 into 10 goes 5 times. So we get uh, 0 0.5 or 0 0.50 or so 0 0.50 or if you move that decimal point two spaces to the right that is 50 percent. So 3 over 6 becomes a half which ends up being 50 percent. Okay? So um, yeah, that's a, it's a kind of a interesting one. Some students like to just begin here. 
they just go okay three out of six look what percent of six is three that tells me that I need to go three over six and just simply turn that into a percentage okay so some students don't bother with the equation that's fine I think it's kind of fun to try the equation because it'll give us some practice for uh, for for later problems as well but you know if you can get the answer you can get the answer so what percent of 20 is 9 I'm gonna set up the equations for all of these just for for the fun of it because I think it's I think it's good practice for you but what percent is something we don't know okay what percent I'm gonna turn this whole sentence into an equation what percent I do not know and I'm gonna call it P it's the unknown okay of of means multiply what percent P of 20 so 20 comes next is the word is can be represented with an equal sign is 9 see that what percent of 20 is 9 and now I need to solve that equation for P and we did this earlier if you want to solve for P P is being multiplied by 20 so you must divide by 20 on both sides so we find that the percentage P is 9 over 20 and that is the answer but the answer at the moment is in fraction form what we want is we want the answer in percent form okay so we've got to turn this fraction into a percentage okay so go ahead and do that well let's see it's 9 over 20 so you gotta go 20 into 9 and let's stick a bunch of zeros there right see what you come up with twenty into ninety uh... four times four twenties is eighty subtract to get ten bring down a zero twenty into a hundred five times five times twenty one hundred subtract and remainder zero okay remainder zero and this decimal point needs to be above here so i get zero point four five so i've turned it into a decimal zero point four five and now of course the answer has to be in percent form so you've got to turn that decimal into a percent so move the decimal point one two spaces to the right and we get forty five percent and by goodness I have to say if you guys are able to do this you know like this is awesome I mean you going from a sentence to an equation solving an equation uh, going from a fraction to a decimal going from a decimal to a percentage I mean, you're better at you're already better at math than most people. So you gotta pat yourselves on the back and realize how good you're getting at this point. Because I'm kind of expecting you to do all this and then thinking, wow, it's really cool if you can do all this at this point. It's really good. Okay. Anyway, so what percent of 16 is seven? By all means, press pause and do this one by yourself. Okay. Press pause and do this by yourself. okay I'll try it now what percent is what we don't know I'll call it P of means multiply multiplied by P multiplied by 16 is equals 7 right so 16 it goes here the 7 goes here so what percent is P of times 16 is 7 okay and when you solve that equation for P you divide by 16 you see and now you just get P in its own the percentage is 7 over 16 now once again some students when they see this equation they go what percent of 16 is 7 oh I've got to get 7 out of 16 so they think about that they go okay well 16 is kind of like the the total and 7 is the part so I want to get 7 out of 16 and they just make this fraction and then they go from there and that's fine you can do that if you like I kind of like to set up the equation just at least in the video just for the practice okay 
So now we have to turn this into a decimal. And then after it's in a decimal form, we can put it in percent form. Okay. So 16 into 70. 16 into 7 goes 0 times. 16 into 70. Let's see. Um, well, 20 goes 20, 40, 60. Uh, so four four twenties is eighty. I'm gonna try four. If it doesn't work, I'll try something else. Four times six is twenty four. Carry the two. Four times one is four, and two is six. Subtract seventy minus sixty four is six. Bring a zero down. Sixteen into sixty goes. Uh, I'll try three times. Three times six is eighteen. Carry the one. 3 times 1 is 3 and 1 is 4. Subtract. 60 minus 48 is 12. Down to 0. Now, what's this? 16 into 120? <laughs> 5 sixteens is 80. Oh my goodness, this isn't going to be right either is it let's see uh, nine, six, I'm gonna try seven times seven times six is 42 carry the four seven times seven seven times one is seven and four seven and four is eleven okay need another zero huh because 120 minus 112 is eight put this zero down and now this time it should work 16 into 80 goes five times 5 sixteenths is 80. Subtract, we get 0. At last remainder 0, so the answer is totally 0 0.4375. And now, so we've got, the perc we've got the percentage, or the answer, as a fraction and a decimal. But now we have to turn the decimal into a percent. So how do you turn that decimal into a percent? Well, move the decimal point one, two spaces to the right <coughs> to get 43.75 per cent. Okay?